People don't even get that. If you drop the elbow, yeah? Yeah. Here we go. Good, good. Press. Get tired. You see? It's all tricep, right? So you want to have, so your bottom arm is here basically, right? So push it down. So you're about, yes. And that is the top arm drive. So your stroke is a combination of top arm power. You get 100% power here. Go ahead, all the way down. Down to zero. Bottom hand ball is from zero, you know. 100% here to zero, right? It's the same thing, but the transition of power is the same as you go from one's, we call it an inverse relationship, right? All the, it's a smooth power transition from top hand to the bottom hand. It's almost like you're handing it off, right? I get all my power up front and then I'm letting my bottom hand do the rest. I'm transferring power from top hand to bottom hand. Top lat, to bottom back, right? And your lats, both sides of your lats are anchored by your erectile spine, right? That's why you have to be engaged with your legs because your two back muscles here is tied to your butt, which is tied to your legs. So they all work together with whoop. So in OC1, the same thing. Both feet forward, the pressure's on the right leg on the side that you pound, yes? So this never changes. Heads up, forward, heads up, forward, yeah? Okay. One of the biggest issues about paddling is most people, oh, come on, again, Daddy, dragon ball, just do this. Right? It's a lot of splash. So when I see that happening, that much splash, I know they're using a lot of energy and getting less out of it, right? Because they're not feeling or not using the solidity of water. And what do I mean by solidity of water? Look, you should not be able to make a hole in the water. If you approach it correctly, you know, there should be no hole in the water. Because if you do this, look at the shape of the water. You're making a trench, right? It's, right? You're using a lot of energy digging a trench. But in paddling, you're not a trench digger, right? I, no. I, my job is to plant the paddle here so I catch it, right? But there's no catch in the water. You drop it and straight down. Or if you top hand, you're throwing the spear, right? Uh, it's a paddling, it's a triangular force. What do I mean by that? You're pushing the paddle down and back, right? You're pushing water down and back, so the opposing motion is up and forth. So if you are only doing the cross hand, this is favorite Southern California style, top hand push this way. Looks like you're doing something. Again, back to what we did on the beach. This is all tricep movement, right? So you want to plant it right down and then stand up to it. Now you're really, because really if I was not standing still, I'll be planting the blade here and moving my snare or the boat up to the entry point, to the entry point. And that's what all padding really is. 
So you have to pretend you're planting a stick in the mud and moving in your boat up with a stick in the mud. And rather than pulling water to you. And that's the biggest like change of mind you have to do. Now when you have 20 guys on a boat doing that, right? I call it a shower. Everybody is getting a shower! <laughs> It's got nothing to do with speed, right? So I want you to learn to feel the solidity of water right now.